you know why the phoenix sits on the right hand of the emperor? She is his guardian. I don't know how they did it. I, I am, I'm blown away. For those of you who don't know, there's a, there's a new Mulan, right? New Mulan movie. Mulan's great, great movie. If you've never seen it, 1998, fantastic animation. Uh, a plot is just, it's perfect. It's a perfect plot. It's a simple, clean narrative. But they decided to make a new Mulan. They made a new Mulan, and this is different. It's no longer a fun comedy. It's basically a superhero movie. Mulan is an incredible action Wonder Woman warrior. And, there, and there's a number of reasons why that's stupid, but we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that. Here's the real problem, though, is... We had... We just... This is, it blows my mind. We had Star Wars, right? That that sequel trilogy. And what did the fans keep saying? What, 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 did, what did people who made all these video essays, guys like me, who analyzed the plot and went, look, it's great that you guys want to do Star Wars. You have this character, Rey. Here's a problem that we've identified. She needs to have flaws. She needs to have weaknesses, right? She can't just be a magic superwoman who has a mysterious mystical power. And anytime you go, well, why is she able to, uh, you know, fly the Millennium Falcon? Why does she know how to speak Wookiee? Why does she know how to, you know, use the, the frickin' force mind technique? You, you can't just go, well, she's really powerful in the force. It's not enough of an explanation. It's not. And it makes for a very uh, uninteresting character when, when we have no uh, identifiable flaws. And now we've arrived at Mulan 2020. So we had Star Wars. We had uh, the sequel trilogy, which was about a young girl who has mysterious magic powers despite doing nothing to earn them whatsoever. And now we have Mulan 2020, a Disney film about a young girl who has mysterious magical powers despite doing nothing to earn them whatsoever. It's, it's, it's not the exact same movie, but it's got all the same problems and they're actually worse. It's worse in this movie. This, this is gonna sound crazy. Mulan is a bigger, and I, I know people don't like when you use this term, they say you're sexist, I'm gonna say it anyway. She is a bigger Mary Sue than Ray ever was. I watched this movie twice trying to figure out what are the flaws of Mulan's character. If you're writing a script, if you're writing a character, the character has to have flaws. If they don't have flaws, there's nothing, there's nothing there. The character can't grow, the character can't change, they're already at the apex of their power. You need to identify some some essential quality that they lack. And for a hero story, again, we're talking about what is basically a superhero story. What is their issue? Okay? I mean, because you have superheroes, plenty of superheroes. They start off with incredible powers, but then you identify, you know, little flaws that they have. Like, for instance, you know, maybe they don't have full control of those powers and they hurt people around them. Or they don't know how to use those powers together with other superheroes. Mulan never addresses anything of that. She just has powers. Her only flaw, and this is not a joke, this is the actual theme of the movie, her only flaw is that she isn't using enough of her magic power. That she has so much power inside her, but she's pushed it down, and her only flaw is that she's preventing herself from being a complete Goku. She's only half Goku. It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. Be <sighs> There's so many things wrong with this movie that it's hard to... I, I can't get it all out right here. I honestly, I started writing some sort of thing. I was like, oh, I'll do like a little written thing about it. And I got about uh, 50 pages in before I went, well, <laughs> let's just do a... Let's just do a quick video trying to summarize some of the problems, and then maybe we'll do the big essay later. Because there is so much to talk about that is wrong. If you look at the original Mulan, here, here, here's a very important difference. The original Mulan was not about a, a warrior, a great warrior. Mulan was somebody who was a very average village girl who made the choice to leave home to save her father to prevent him from having to go to war. And... We'll get back to that in a second, but it's a, very, it's a much more interesting story, honestly. But now we have this movie. They want it to be a superhero movie. So Mulan has to be a, an ancient wizard ass kicker or whatever. Give me some sense of why this 10-year-old is flipping around like frickin' Jackie Chan. It makes no sense. But what we learn is, unlike the original Mulan, and this is a very important distinction, the original Mulan had, was not opposed to this arranged marriage, right? Fa Mulan. Present. 
Speaking without permission? Oops. Which is actually a, a little interesting when you think about it, because it's such... It seems so obvious that when you have these modern princess characters or whatever it is, that they rebel. They say, oh, this arranged marriage. I'm a, I'm a strong, independent woman. I would never, you know, allow someone to choose who I love for me. There's actually uh, some interview or something in one of the books where they talked to the scriptwriters and they went, yeah, but then we realized that's not only, A, just, like, super obvious, but it also interferes with the whole selflessly sacrificing yourself to save your family theme. Because New Mulan clearly uh, goes the more obvious route of, oh, you know, I don't want to be in an arranged marriage. I want to be a warrior, blah, 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 blah. So when she leaves home, it's no longer a selfless act to, you know, save your father's life. It's no, you are always going to leave. Like, this is you becoming your truest self. It's not selfless. It's you being like, I'm a warrior, I'm going to join the army. Like, basically, you you were waiting for an excuse for this to happen. Yeah, you probably care about your family in some respect, but it's no longer this pure, obvious thing. When original Mulan joined the army, it was like, oh my god, like, I'm risking everything. You know, this is crazy, I could get myself killed. New Mulan, it's like, yeah, I'm going to join the army and I'm going to be the best fighter, who cares? I'm just the best, it doesn't even matter. And, like, from right there, it just, it goes off the rails, trying to make this into a super... It, if you're going to make it into a superhero movie, you have to get rid of everything from, from the first movie. You can't use any of it. And the fact that they're trying to use stuff from the first movie in this singular superhero narrative, it doesn't work. The original, okay, it's a war movie, right? It's about an army. It's about a group of soldiers, not just Mulan, it's Mulan and her friends, her buddies who all train and get better and become a unified fighting force. Yes, Mulan's at the center of it, but, but her friends are always there to have her back. Come on, we gotta help. It, it's, it's a real war movie, you know, band of brothers kind of thing. But here you have a, a superhero movie where she is the only superhero. It's not like it's a superhero team up. She's the only one who has any powers, but you still have her fellow army soldiers who now seem to serve they serve no purpose in the plot. The only thing that they do is look at Mulan and clap and go, my God, she's so powerful. My God, we are so blessed to be in the presence of the divine Mulan. Who knew? What a killer! <laughs> and the script just feels like they just took the old script and just jammed stuff in from it at random without realizing how none of it works. I hate that I have to bring this up. Let's get into this real quick. You remember the cool captain character from the first movie? I don't need anyone causing trouble in my camp. Sorry. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry you had to see that. But you know how it is when you get those uh, manly urges. He's not allowed to be in the movie anymore because, and this is on record, because Me Too, the Me Too movement, illustrated that it would have been an uh, improper power dynamic for the captain to fall in love with one of his recruits. So that's the reason why one of the best characters in Mulan is not allowed to be in the movie. I hate it. I want to kill myself. Okay, but she's fighting against her new boy. It's not even her boyfriend. She's not allowed to have a love interest in this movie. It's just a guy is the new male counterpart to Mulan. So she's fighting against guy. And she shows everybody, look, I'm the ultimate fighter. I'm the best. Look at us fight with our sticks. Isn't everybody impressed by me? Okay. And here's how this here's how that scene would go in in a correct movie okay she's fighting she's showing off her crazy moves whatever the hell commander steps in donnie yen steps in it man steps in takes her to the tent uh and tells her look i've been keeping my eye on you yes you have great power but this is an army this war will not be won by any individual person you need to stop showing off spinning your stupid stick around and you need to go and make friends with all of those dudes and learn to fight as brothers okay you you are a single twig but together you become and let's quote ralph from the simpsons it's like i can't say it but ralph can say it individually we are weak like a single twig but as a bundle we form a mighty fat but that doesn't happen of course that doesn't happen she gets called into the tent and what does the commander tell her after interrupting a training exercise with her with her stupid kung fu nonsense, 
He tells her, you're so magic, but you know what your problem is? You need to you need to release all that magic. That's the only thing that's wrong with you. Why are you holding back all your magic? You need to cultivate your gift. Sir. Your chi is powerful, Huajun. Why do you hide it? And then you don't cut, you don't cut to like a scene where she's training with everybody. No, she goes off and trains entirely by herself. It is a lone warrior movie. It is only about Mulan. So why did you waste any time trying to establish these, these uh, other soldiers? It's so insane. They have like no scenes with her. They barely talk to her. And then randomly they'll just throw in a scene where she goes, yeah, 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 we're a band of brothers. You know, I got you guys back. We will live. I guarantee it. Because I will protect you. You don't care about those guys at all. And if you do, you have to show me in the movie. I'm gonna real quick get to the biggest tragedy. Here's what I think is the biggest tragedy. Is, remember the training sequence from the original Mulan, which is like my favorite part of that movie. I think it's everybody's favorite part of that movie. Has the best song. Has that song, freaking Donny Osmond just kicks your ass. Let's get down to business. And oh, what's that? You're watching the Chinese version? Well, then you hit Jackie Chan singing it. No matter what language you watch it in, that's that whole scene rules. But here's the point. In that scene, the, the big trial that they have to do is they have to get to the top of the pole and uh, grab an arrow and that will prove whatever. And they have two plates. One plate represents discipline. One plate represents strength. You have to get to the top of the tree with both discipline and strength. Everybody fails, right? Because they have to, because they're weak and whatever. We do our little montage, we're going along. Everybody sucks, everybody sucks, everybody sucks. Then we get to this part where Mulan, they got these two weights on either side. And it seems like everybody's kind of gotten the hang of it. Cause you see that the guys are running along and they're doing, they're like, all right, well this sucks, but here we go. Mulan is completely falling behind. This, this is the point where we realize Mulan is not only uh, inept, she is the weakest of the entire group. And immediately after this, the captain comes to her and he tells her, leave. You are a lost cause. Get out of my camp. There is no, there is no use in having you here. And, I, and I'm and i going to assume that the reason she's failing is, uh, let's be honest, male biology, this is a test of strength to walk with these freaking uh, weights on either side. Yeah, if, you, if you're a guy, you might eventually be able to summon the strength, you know, build up your body to do that. As a woman, it's going to be much harder. The point is, Mulan's strength is not her, her physical prowess, okay? Mulan's strength, and this sounds so simple, it's so obvious, like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not delivering untold truths onto you, you get it. Mulan's strength is her mind, because she, she looks at the pole and she goes, oh, okay, well I have the plate of discipline, which means never give up, so I'm not leaving camp. I have the plate of strength, but there's other types of strength than the physical strength, there is mental strength. I have the ability to recognize, hey, if I wrap these two plates around the pole, I could use them as a counterbalance and pull my way to the top. And that is Mulan's character. For the rest of the movie, Mulan shows, okay, the guys are going to think straightforward. If they see the enemy, they're gonna fire a rocket at the enemy. I'm gonna think laterally, and I go, well, if firing it straightforward isn't gonna help. What if I aim it at this mountaintop and cause an avalanche? She thinks around the problem. Later on, they have to get into the castle. The boys are ramming into it with, a, you know, again, straightforward thinking. We're gonna ram our way into the castle. In Mulan, who, who does not benefit from this straightforward brute strength, she goes, okay, let's think around the problem. What if we go around the side, dress up as women, which you can't do anymore, not gonna let you put that in a Disney movie anymore, but we'll dress up as ladies of the court and sneak in. And even in the final the final battle against Shan Yang, or whatever his frickin' name is, it's not like an epic cool sword battle. She uses the sword to trap him in place as a uh, Mushu, fires a rocket at his head, and then, you know, he gets blown up by a million fireworks. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Isn't it interesting to have a character who's thrust into a war situation, and rather than just becoming the best fighter instead, is constantly coming up with ideas and tactics that think outside the box and, you know, outwit her enemies in clever ways? That's, that's pretty good, right? Let's go to the new Mulan, Mulan. Not only is Nulan the best, she's just the best at everything, but they have the same scene. They have the scene with the two weights on either side. Remember, 
This is the trial that original Mulan failed at. She failed and was told to leave. Okay? This was her greatest failure, was her inability to balance these two weights. What does new Mulan do? She spits in the eye of old Mulan. She says, you suck. This is easy, you dumb bitch. Fucking gets all her magic, whatever the fuck chi, and just walks to the top of the mountain holding the weights. That's it. She didn't come up with like a clever plan, like, oh, it's very hard to do this. Maybe if I, I don't know, replace the water with some other sort of liquid, it'll be easier. No, nothing clever, nothing interesting. Just she has the most magic power. She's the most magical. She has the force, for the love of fucking God. And she, she gets to the top of the mountain. And again, it feels like they're spitting in the eye of the original Mulan. They're like, original Mulan couldn't have done that. She didn't have the, the, the cool magic powers of new Mulan. New Mulan is better. Ugh. Everything in this movie is bad. It is so terrible. Uh, like, one out of... not Zero out of ten. There is no reason... The only reason to watch this movie is to see just how terrible script writing has become. I, I don't know. How do you make so many obvious failures of script writing? And I hate to say it. I don't want to be that guy. But it does feel like a bit of that Yas Queen feminism. You go, girl. You don't need no man. You're in charge. You're A number one. Why would you write a character like that? Okay? Female characters, any character, is more interesting when we see their flaws. And the flaws have to be real. The flaw can't be you're not using enough of your magic. And they tie that into, oh, not only are you hiding your power level, but you're hiding something else as well. So they're basically saying, by pretending to be a woman, that's also your weakness. Why would you do that? Why, why don't you show them you're a woman? Your deceit weakens you. It poisons your chi. I'm Hua Jun, soldier in the Emperor's Imperial Army. Then you will die pretending to be something you're not. Well, because she, otherwise she couldn't get in the army. That's not a real weakness. You can't tell me that one of the character's weaknesses is that she successfully infiltrated the army and saved her father's life. That's not a weakness. Okay, and the movie makes a big deal about, oh, now she's going to show them she's a woman. Well, yeah, because she's already gained their trust and shown them her power by disguising herself as a man. That wasn't weakness when she did that. And it is insane that you think the moral is, don't, pr don't, don't, just don't. Everything you did was wrong. You should have just went in there as a woman when I'm every woman, she's all in me, kicked everybody's ass, and said, I'm in charge of the Chinese army now. I, I guess. If you're telling me that her weakness was pretending to be a woman... Your deceit weakens you. Then you're telling me that that's what should have happened. It makes no sense whatsoever. This movie is terrible. Uh, it, it is a stain. Don't do what I did. Don't watch the original and the new one back to back because you will want to buy a gun and kill yourself. It is that depressing. How, how you can go from one of the greatest animated films of all time to just such garbage. Such horrific... Depressing, depressing garbage. This is a kids movie. It's a movie for kids. And you're telling kids, don't learn to work together. Don't learn to, to become a band of brothers and fight alongside people you love and your family and your friends. That's bullshit. You are a beautiful and unique special snowflake. You alone matter. Individual glory is more important than learning to work well with others. I hate it. I want to die. <laughs> Thank you, Disney, for sapping my will to live. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want me to make a whole video about Mulan, I think I have to. There's so much to cover here. It's so bad on every level. So if you would like to see that movie, if you want to see that video, leave a, leave a comment. Let, let me know that it's a good idea to make it. I can't promise I'm going to make it because it would take forever, but I, I'm, I really want to, man. This movie's a nightmare. More cool videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. And uh, Disney, what are you doing? Come on. Come on.